poor man's renunciation. A poor man's renunciation. I have renounced everything. What? I have renounced comfortable life. I live as the holy people live, in small heart. Poor man's renunciation of riches. I am happy with little food. Is this renunciation of a poor man a real renunciation or a real detachment or because he doesn't have, that's why he is telling this. Just you think. If you compare a rich man, a poor man and a holy man, you will find lots of com common aspects. He is living with very little thing, little clothes, little food, small heart. A holy man might be living with that. But the poor man has not really renounced. This living is not because of proper understanding. But a holy man has renounced everything consciously. A poor man, when gets the opportunity, wants to grab it. A holy man or a person with discrimination, even if he finds it doesn't attract him anymore. A holy man was invited by the king. The holy man was invited by the king. The king took him and showed his, you know, royal position. Took him to his, uh, how to say, treasury room. Showed lots of stones, stones, gems, diamond. He said, all these are stones. Do the stones give you something? He said, what? Can stone give you anything? Rather, I spend a lot of money for their preservation, protection. He said, I have two stones. They give a lot. He said, the king became curious. He wanted to know which stone he has. The king wanted to visit the holy man and to see the stone. And the stone is giving a lot. Do you know which stone he had? He had grind, you know, which stone? The hand used stone mill, grinding stone. He said, this stone? He said, it's this stone. For this stone, I don't have a door to preserve. To, I'm not afraid of somebody taking it. And this stone is giving me wheat flour every day. I put wheat and I get flour. It is serving me. Not only that, it is also teaching me. Do you know what it is teaching? When you grind something, the hand stone mill, the hand, so below the stone, the, there are two stones. One is moving, the other is stationary. He said, this is teaching. He's telling. What is teaching? There are two, two things in life. Something changeless, something changing. Upper stone is changing, below stone is changeless. So it is teaching me, be like changeless soul. And don't change yourself like the grind mill. Then it is telling, do not the below stone which is steady and steel, it has one wooden, you know, wooden stuff in the center. So anything goes closer to that wooden stuff in the center cannot be crossed easily. Those who come away from the center, they are crossed into flower or something. He said, those who are in the center, they are free from all troubles. Those who are away from the center, they are crossed in this grinding process. So, it is teaching me. It is giving me flower. It is teaching me how to live. So, I have beautiful stones. And your stone, you are living with fear. Voiragya, non-attachment. <laughs>